We bout to play 2K Brutal Sim, Step Back J Kobe got that clutch, throw it up That's game, I'm going through the lane Russell Westbrook quickness Now before we get to the video Make sure and go and hit your boy subscribe And click that bell Now the reason why I'm putting out this video man A lot of my subs been hitting me up and telling me They're not receiving any notification That's because YouTube did a recent update That I wasn't aware of And because of my subs that actually hit me up and told me about it now you gotta go click all so you can receive all the notifications to my videos now shout out to the notification squad man i appreciate y'all man much love respect now let's get to the video Woodup, Woodup, it's your boy you don't know brutal simon the scene wicked and me with a next video for you all man all right so there have been a little conversation within the 2k community lately man especially seeing all the crazy lags and baluba or mike wang actually tweeted out um something about the shooting changing the shooting and asking about shooting percentages and agent did a video man a lot of people was hitting me up bro are you gonna cover this bro you know what I'm saying, man? Because y'all know I report news and stuff like that. But I gotta be 100 with y'all, man. I saw the tweet. And I was like, eh, they do this every year, man. Every year around this time, they do this, man. All right, let me show y'all something. Let me show y'all something real quick. April, what, 17th, 2017. He tweeted out, getting a lot of mixed feedback. Tell me how you feel about shooting. Know what mode you're talking about two if you can thanks right and the option were too easy too hard or just right now i got all of this across here so if you see my eyes going there it's because i'm reading this off right i went and pull up back the tweets for y'all to show y'all that every year they do this program shooting should be more sim um shooting percentage is too high true or false then of course he followed that up with a next week shooting archetype should be boosted non-shooting builds nerf yes or no then he followed that up with the next tweet on that day what percentage should a great shooter with great timing shoot when open and the option were 50 to 60 percent 60 to 70 percent 70 to 80 percent or um greater than 80 percent right of course greater than 80 percent one and the final tweet for the day was last poll for today bump up shooting percentage drop contested percentage both or neither right so when he dropped that tweet on may 4th which was you know a while ago about a week and something ago all right a week and something ago he dropped that tweet and i saw it was like do you think players should be allowed to use real player percentage not shot timing in the park or the poem i was like eh, they do this every year man all right this is around the period where they start changing the um what you call it when they start changing the shooting percentage and adjusting it and testing it constantly this is around that time because as we all could clearly see we could clearly see that 2k put 2k18 right in the rear view mirror we can see it the customer support ain't there all right even looking at the game right now it's constantly lagging constantly lagging it's just ridiculous um i don't think it's rocket science how the shooting should be i think the park and the program need to be different when it comes to shooting i'm sorry that's just what i think you should probably allow more mistakes in the park that's just what I think because the park tend to be more arcadey than the poem. So the poem should be a little bit more sim. But, but the timing needs to be important. And it needs to be varied based on the archetype and the shooting ability. Of course, if I'm shooting with a pure sharp shooter, I'm wide open. I fill out that bar. I don't even care if it's a, if it's a pure filled white bar. I should be hitting 99% of the time, which means I should miss one out of a hundred out of these. I should definitely, especially if it's a wide open uncontested shot, right? 
and of course depending on what badges with the deep ranges and stuff like that yeah give me my shot man give me my money i'm already slow which is something i need to um speak about as well with all this i'm talking the sharpshooter need to be a sharpshooter the sharpshooter cannot be driving and dunking all over people and stuff like that you need to be a sharpshooter now if you're a specified sharpshooter i expect you to have that impact now if you're a pure point four which is the build i think i'm gonna be creating on 2k19 next time around and you got like a 80 percent you could get to an 80 percent on the three now if i'm wide open fill the bar up completely full white bar i should hit that 80 percent of the time that's eight out of ten shots wide open because that's what the numbers are telling me that what my timing is telling me everything that's how it should really correlate it shouldn't be that difficult it's not rocket science mike wayne so the fact that he's sending these out and asking people come on huh i a lot of people talking about the skill gap 2k definitely have a skill gap i don't care what no one said some people might hit dumb shots but they're not gonna hit dumb shots the entire game if you got a good squad you are gonna win you are gonna dominate if you got a good squad if you got communication if you got that whole nine you are gonna win so it's always weird when people tell me there when i hear people saying there is no skill gap i disagree it's gonna be extremely difficult for you to find a game out there that doesn't have a skill gap a skill gap come um contains when you when you're talking about 2k and this video is gonna cover a few things it contains one some basketball like you knowing spacing all right no just not getting in each other's way very important with this game some communication is very important when it comes to switching stuff like that all that is basketball iq which helps you in this game now Although you have the basketball IQ aspect to it, you need to know what 2K will allow and won't allow as well. Now when you combine these two, you will be an elite player in this game. And no one can walk off the streets, pick up the game and beat you. It won't happen. They will, be, they will have to be playing 2K for a good minute to beat you in this game. Now, of course, it has some cheese stuff that you can learn on YouTube, but guess what? The elite cheeses are gonna dominate that basic cheeser. It's still a skill. It's still a skill in learning all these cheese moves. I'm sorry, there are skill gaps. There are always gonna be skill gaps in games, even with the cheese. It might be the right skill gap, don't get me wrong, I'm not defending 2K. Might not be the right skill gap, but there will always be be skill gaps right so a, a pro and player probably should not really be able to go to the park and dominate the people that are playing on park all day because the park tend to have more cheese they tend to allow you to do more stuff that you can do in the sim um in a sim what i want to say in the sim surrounding right but a park player at the same time at the same time should not be able to go to the pro-am that's someone that always plays pro-am and understand the rules that pro-am would allow and what they won't allow they should not be able to come to the park and drop all that cheese and be as effective i'm just saying that's how the game pretty much is at the moment and that's how it should be but as i said pro-am need to be more simple park arcade so there's gonna be a separation there is there need to be a separation of course park is definitely the most played game mode by far no nothing close and it's still amazing to me how 2k pretty much just put it in the back burner that's been lagging the entire week i've been told i got on this weekend it was definitely unplayable i got like one decent game in the rest lag being lagging to empty servers and the whole nine this is ridiculous we're just a few months in the game i know we got like four months till the next 2k drops 
but you still got to leave a little team looking at this game and make sure making sure that the game plays for the remaining people that plays the game right now i was like oh i'm only gonna only upload 2k yo i'm gonna have to switch it up man i was playing with some of my subs in fortnite now i'm not gonna upload any gameplay because i'm trash but whenever the challenges drop whenever the challenges drop i get the challenges done in a few hours real fast because y'all know i'm a grind head right so i'm probably gonna drop some tips to get those challenges as fast as as possible like the weekly challenges not the daily one the daily one tend to be simple man survive for 100 or survive um 100 people or get some headshots or some easy stuff man but the challenges where you gotta find stuff i could always show you all the secret um locations and all of that so i'm gonna probably do some of these um once a week in of course i'm gonna always drop 2k i'm gonna always but i can't be loyal to a game that's not loyal to us i'm sorry they they put us on the back burner for 2k19 we're still playing this game the servers are trash right now and that's probably because they're testing out a bunch of stuff for 2k19 but anyways man let me know what y'all think bro all right in the comments give me your full feedback your full 100 feedback you'll know how it is man i'm always in the comments always gonna chat it up with y'all man it's all love just my opinion so y'all know how it is your first time to my channel like the video share the video hit your button subscribe if it's not your first time like the video share the video you never know who's gonna enjoy it or who it might influence bro you know, we never know we never know let's put it out there let's put it out there in the air it might benefit us in the long run, man. So you don't know your boy, see one love, respect. Bless up.